Welcome back to Tiny RV Cooking. First, I'd like to invite you to like, share, subscribe, and ring that bell for new notification of videos. I put out new videos every Monday and Wednesday. So today we'll be making Instant Pot Pot Roast and Steamed Green Beans. If you'd like to see how I make these two easy recipes, stay tuned and I'll show you how. I found this recipe from Amy Plus Jack Pressure Cook Recipes. I'll leave the link down below where you can find this great recipe at. We're going to need chuck roast, garlic, potatoes, pepper, kosher salt, bay leaves, thyme, rosemary, onions, beef broth, baby carrots. I like baby carrots. Bosmonic vinaigrette, bru uh, soy sauce. You can add fish sauce to it. It really does add a lot more flavor, but I don't have any. So I'm just adding another tablespoon of soy sauce and olive oil. Plus, for, um, since I'm not doing a three pound roast, I'm only doing a one pound, I'm gonna use my Instant Pot Mini for this. Our pot is now hot. We're gonna add some olive oil to it. Just a little. I'm gonna let that heat up. While that's heating up, we are going to dry our uh, chuck roast and add salt and pepper. Move this aside. Yeah. So we're going to dry it. Salt and pepper. Just a little bit. This is what's going to give your meat the flavor. We're going to add our roast. And we're just going to brown it. Don't skip this step. Really important to give it a good sear. It'll give you a lot of flavor. Do not overcrowd it. I have plenty of room for both. Let it sear for a few moments on each side until it's easy to pull up. If it does not move up easily, don't turn it. It usually takes about 10 minutes. Nice golden brown. That's what we're looking for. We're going to want to do all four sides. It's the uh, rest is completely brown. We're going to take it out. Add a touch more olive oil. Just a very little. Just a very little splash. Like that. And we're going to add our onions until they're golden brown. Then we'll add our garlic. My clip. If you're new to my show, I have a clip that I put on here and it keeps it from moving. It makes it really easy to saute or stir anything. They're almost golden brown, so we're going to add our garlic. We're just going to cook this for a few minutes. We're going to add a splash of soy sauce. This is the glaze. And a splash of bosmonic vinaigrette. We're just going to glaze it. Don't add too much. You can always add your broth to it. But you want to get all these bits off. 
Okay, I'll give you a burn notice. Add a tablespoon of our cosmetic vinegar. I'm adding two tablespoons of soy sauce. Read the instructions. So definitely click the website to get what you get the amount you need. But I'm just making this for a three quart, so I'm not using as much. A little bit of pepper and a little bit of salt, kosher salt. Our seasoning and the bay leaves. And we're going to add our beef base. If you don't have beef base, you can definitely use chicken base. Low sodium will be the best, but I can't find it in my area. So just use a regular. So I kind of watch my salt. I can always add more later. And our roast. We're going to cook this for 45 minutes with a 25 minute natural release or just basically till it's done naturally. It's usually 25 minutes. I'm gonna take this off. Always make sure your ceiling ring is in and you press your hand around to make sure it's in tight. Put the lid right on, press down and put it on seal. Okay, we're gonna press pressure cook. I need to go up to 45 minutes. I'll see you in 45 minutes, plus when it's done natural release in 25 minutes, after 25 minutes. It is done with pressure, a natural pressure release. We're going to take it out. Make sure your pin is all the way down. We're going to put it on your platter. So soft. It's like falling apart. See? Falls right off. We're going to put tin foil on this and let it rest. Put some tin foil over. And in our pot, we're going to add our potatoes. We're not big carrot people for cooked, but they're really good for seasoning. So if you don't like carrots, you should put them in anyway, because they've got really good flavor to it. You can use them as seasoning, kind of like bay leaves. You toss them out when you're done. Our quick car our carrots. Just gonna put a few on. We're gonna press pressure cook, and we're gonna go down, and it's gonna pressure cook for four minutes with a quick release. About in two or three more minutes, we're gonna get started on our green beans, because they are steamed for zero minutes. So they won't take long to cook at all. Now it's time to start our green beans to another three quart instant pot. I do have two. I use these a lot. We're going to add water. You only need a half a cup of water for a three quart instant pot. Your green beans I already trimmed. I added garlic and butter to it. And I have pepper and salt added to it. I did it beforehand because I'm doing, I'm holding my phone so I only have one hand. Make it easier. We're going to add our lid. Turn, this is a cell ceiling ring, but lid, but you just want to flip it just in case. Mine's is an ultra, so I click it, I bring it to steam. I click it, it's on zero minutes. I need it on high pressure, so I turn it again. If I get a low, I want to hit Go to high. Then rest start. And once it's done, you do a quick release on this. The green beans are now done. I release the pressure. We're going to open it up. We're, the, the green beans are perfectly dark green to me. And we're going to put on a trivet to our potatoes are done. So right here just to keep them from getting too green, um, 
cooked. All right, Instapot is now done. And I did already do the release. We're gonna open it up. The potatoes look done. We're just gonna check them. Nice and soft. And we're going to put them on our tray along with our meat. We're gonna put this on set cancel and I'm gonna press saute. We're gonna let it get a little hot and we're gonna add some cornstarch and water and we're gonna thicken up we're gonna thicken this up to make gravy. Put my same, my green beans on the same tray. Move to the side and let's get started on our gravy. It's boiling, so we're gonna add a tablespoon We're gonna add two tablespoons of water. A little more. We're gonna whisk it together before we add it in. We're making a slurry. So when you add it in, you're gonna slowly add it in. And you're gonna mix as you add. Let it thicken up and see if it's the desired consistency you want. I'll speak with time to taste the seasoning. A pinch of salt. And give it a good mix. I have a gravy boat. Press cancel. And I'm just gonna pour this in my gravy boat. If you want it thicker, you can go a little longer or add more cornstarch slurry to it. That's perfect for me. And now finally the fun part. We get to have our Instant Pot pot roast with our gravy that we made in the Instant Pot and our green beans are also made in Instant Pot. Some of our roast, it is like I said, so fork tender, it just falls right off. Our potatoes. And our green beans. One, two, too many. With a little bit of our gravy. And now it's time, and now it's time to eat. And now for the best part. It is time to try our Instant Pot pot roast with our steamed green beans that we made in Instant Pot. And I'm also serving it with my cheesy toast. If you wanna see how I made this simple, easy recipe, I'll leave, a video, I'll leave a link to the video down below where you can find a video how I made this simple recipe. Give the uh, roast a try. Mmm. Mm -mm. Mm. Really good. Just perfect flavor. Everything is just so good. Our green beans. Mmm. Mmm.
nice and crispy, just the way I like them. I always steam my food in the Instant Pot, my vegetables. I think you retain more flavor in the Instant Pot because it doesn't escape, it just goes back down. And it's so easy. That's why I have two minis because I steam most every vegetable I have. Mmm, my potato. Really good, creamy, just so good. And it, it tastes so good from the flavoring from the um, pot roast. A little bit of our cheesy toast dipped in our gravy. Mmm. Mmm. The Parmesan goes so good with the flavors of the gravy and the roast. They play off of each other just perfectly. Thank you for coming to Tiny RV Cooking. First, I'd like to invite you to like, subscribe, share, and ring that bell for new notification of videos. I put out new videos every Monday and Wednesday. Leave a comment down below what you'd like to see me make in my tiny RV. Leave a comment down below if you made any of these great recipes and let me know what you like. I love to try out new things and hear all your comments. My camper is only 22 foot long, but I love her. I'll see you next time on Tiny RV Cooking. Bye.